Uh, the first thing, uh, let me tell you why we want to generate such a model. We all know that kidney is one of the major target organ for the drug-induced toxicity. And may, sometimes making things worse, the toxic, toxicity effects become obvious sometimes after regulatory approval. And the toxic potential often underestimated when new drugs are available and leads to clinical complications. One good example is the COX-2 inhibitors. Uh, in the kidney tissue, the renal peroxy tubular area is a major target for drug-induced toxicity, indicated in the left hand, the blue rectangle region, because it has a fuel trace concentration and it has the transport of drugs and uh, organic uh, compounds. So the main function of the proxy tubular is for transport drugs and the compounds is because it has a lot of uh, transporters. Uh, in this region, there are two major transporters. One is the ATP binding cassette transporters, and another is the solid carrier transporters. You can see this graphic, uh, a cartoon in the right hand, and the three and the circled by a, a red rectangle. And my talk today will only focus on the SLC transporters. And in the SLC transporters, a lot of uh, regulatory agency recommends the testing of the evaluate the OT1, OK2, and OT3 as a major SLC train target for drug interaction testing are expressed in the kidney. Is it because the relatively abundance of the those three transporters as well as the functionality of those three transporters.